AEW Powerbomb Championship Wrestling, Sean Boomer Bratton, along with Norm Waymer. And Norm, I have to tell you, after the last time at Headliners, there is so much to talk to you about. There's so much to cover as we amp up for the season finale at Headliners on May 22nd. And one of the matches you will see at Headliners, I never thought I would be seeing you in a wrestling you, match, you Norm. You thought you'd never see it. I, 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 I didn't, didn't think I'd ever see it either. But it's going to happen. Norm Waymer is going to take on the manager of the champion, Andrew Shane, Scott Romer. And obviously, we've seen Norm over the last couple of months here ever since Scott Romer interjected himself uh, into the affairs of Andrew Shane and uh, getting on the bad side of Dr. Jerry Gramble. Well, Scott Romer's been, there's no way to, to, to mince words here. He's been interfering just right in front of all the fans and right in front of us. It's a piece of trash. Yeah, the that's, a piece and, of and, trash. That, and that's being nice. And, and, and you know, nose to nose. You know, that's fine. But I, I'm going to get hit from behind. I'm going to get cheap shotted by that clown. Uh-uh. No. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Well, I tell you what, you know, we've seen time and time again, Scott Romer teaming with Andrew Shane, uh, interfering, you know, beating various opponents here in PCW. And after what happened the last time we saw Andrew Shane wrestle Fabian Aloysius Graham, Norm, you had enough, and we want to show everyone what happened the last time at Headliners. So that way we can figure out how exactly you did physically get involved with Scott Romer. Dr. Jerry Graham knows something is going on. He sees something, but the referee has not caught it yet. You can, you can almost see. This, his, this guy is supposed to be the face of PCW. This guy's the heavyweight champion. And this is what he's doing. And again, I, I lay the, a, a lot of the blame at his, at his accomplice, his partner that. in crime, who just got handed back whatever that object is. Somebody should put a stop to this. You know, Norm, they're taking cheating to a whole new level here, okay? This is ridiculous. Well, the whole idea of sport itself is supposed to be a fair competition. Look at this. Yeah, he has that right object again. Grabbed it from Scott Romer. Jabbed it. Oh, uh, look at this. Doc's had enough of this. Oh, yeah. Doc well, has well, had well, enough of this. have enough of this. And what's Romer trying to do? What a weasel. Absolutely, Doc. Absolutely. What's Ro Romer? Or this guy Romer's this getting into the ring now. What is he doing? Oh, my he God. A, 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 a slapjack and just knocked Jerry Graham upside, the, uh, upside his head? He hit him with a blackjack right in the back of the head. And the referees want to like Dr. Jerry Graham is just laid out there. Fabian Aloysius Graham going to town on Andrew Shane. This Some, Romer is ridiculous. No, this is somebody. Somebody should put a halt. Somebody has to put a stop to this. This is absolutely ridiculous. And Andrew and Shane. It right to the back of his head. Like a shiver, a shank, you know. And the referee just kind of distracted by uh, Fabian Aloysius. Look at this. Dr. Jerry Graham on the ground. He doesn't even see what's going this on. This is no competition. No, it's not. This is not a competition. This is an assault. It is an assault. These guys ought to be arrested, much less banned. This is just a plain, flat out an assault. And look at that. Just handing things right back to Scott Romer again. All of this, you know, 100% premeditated. What's he trying to do now? Some type of uh, submission, some type of sleeper? What are we going to see here? Fabian runs Andy back into that Tom Turnbuckle, a uh, top Turnbuckle, I, rather. I see, I'm worried for Doc, too. Oh, yeah, exactly. Doc is barely... Uh, Probably hit him right in the back of the head. Yeah. He's got to have a concussion. He can't even get up, but yet the match continues. You know, and Dr. Can do Jerry Graham right damage. in the middle of it. Get him, Fabian. Get him. Look at this. Oh, he just handed on. it right back to him. Right into the midsection Come on. now. Somebody has got to do something here. This is an assault. I'm going to do something about it. Uh, uh, Norm, Norm is saying someone should do something about it. No one has stepped up, so Norm Waymer is going to step up, I guess. And you just pull that object right out of the tights of Andrew Shane. And Fabian Aloysius Graham cinches up Andrew Shane. The bell is rung. Fabian's on top. Of, is it a disqualification? You know what's happening. Fabian Aloysius Graham. Fabian Aloysius Graham is the winner because, well, finally Norm had enough and showed that for now. Well, the fall of the match as a disqualification. It's just Graham. What are you doing? What are you doing? Scott Romer's throwing a hissy fist. Scott Romer's throwing a hissy fist. Keith Babbitt, Norm, Brad and Al, Keith Babbitt, Norm, Brad and Al, Shane. Scott Romer just hit Norm Waymer. Scott Romer just hit. He put his hands on Norm Waymer. Take that jacket off, Norm. Take that jacket off, Norm. I'm 
going down there. I'm going down there. Get that rat out of here. I've had enough of this coward. I have had enough of him. He's been doing this month after month after month. I want his behind in this ring. I want him in this ring. He's going to hit me here. I want him in the ring. I want him in the ring. He hit me right here. I, I want him behind in the I ring. I saw it. I saw it. If he's going to do that, he's going to come in the ring and he's going to fight. You've got a match next month with Scott <laughs> Roller. You got it. Yes. Thank you. Yes. May the 22nd. And Doc, wherever you're at, I don't want you missing out on this at all. I want you in my corner. Yeah. Dr. J. Graham in my corner on May the 22nd. Norm, I've never seen you that mad before. Coat was off. You ran Scott Romer out of town, and hopefully you'll run him out of PCW on May 22nd. What do you do? I mean, really, what do you do? You were, uh, you, you've been in that situation in the past exactly. with past your pain. What do you do? You, you, just, either, you, you either put your tail between your legs and you run or you stand up and you fight. So what choice do I have? Well, I we fight. Know. I'm not a wrestler. I, and I don't pretend to be a wrestler, but I'm not going to let somebody like that, uh, a piece of trash like that, cheap shot Doc and then cheap shot me. No, no. No. And we know how tight you are with Dr. Jerry Graham, and Dr. Jerry Graham will be in your corner during that match as Dr. Jerry Graham has been training you, getting you ready for this, and you guys, I'm sure, will have some, some tricks up your sleeve knowing the, uh, the good old doctor. But you look at what Scott Romer has done in that short amount of time he's been here in PCW. You look at what he has done with uh, Andrew Shane, that relationship he had with Dr. Jerry Graham, Bobo Brazil coming between all of those people. And, and now I think, you know, and I, I know I'm in agreement on this with a lot of the fans, that he's finally, on May 22nd, that headliner's going to get what he deserves. Yeah, and, and I and, and I, I want to say this too, we don't need tricks. We don't need tricks. There's not going to be tricks. We're going to beat him and we're going to shut his mouth. And we already got a game plan. I will guarantee you on May the 22nd, we will shut Scott Romer's mouth. And I cannot wait for that to happen. That's May 22nd. It's the season finale of PCW. And also during that season finale, May 22nd at Headliners, you're going to see a tag team main event. Now, we saw circumstances that kind of dictated this uh, main event happen the last time we were at Headliners, but really, a lot of this has been brewing for months here in PCW because now, tag team main event on the 22nd is going to be Kiyoshi and Crimson taking on Rhino and Phil Atlas. Yeah, and I want to say this too, for all the wrestling fans that are watching this show, you in Toledo, you will never, and I'm telling you, you will never see a collection of athletes in one match in Toledo. You won't. If you're, if you're ever going to go to a match and you're going to see matches in person, this is what you want to see. You've got four guys that are amazing world-class athletes. And I'm talking amazing world-class athletes. And you're fortunate enough to have the chance to come to headliners on May the 22nd and see these guys in action. It is going to be a, a, an incredible night. And let's see how we got here. Slug in the corner. That, that will take, that'll take the life out of you. It moved the ring again. Boot into the midsection, neck breaker. neck breaker. Rhino goes down, Crimson right on top, hooks the leg, goes for a cover. You can't leave Crimson an opening. No, he will take it time and time again. We've seen that during the course of this match. If he senses even the smallest, the most minuscule of openings, he takes it, uses it to his advantage. Crimson now, looks like he's really taking his time, trying to gain some of his breath back, I'm sure. Crimson now perched up on that middle rope, and he has met with Rhino, who is up to his feet, has that second win right now. Rhino, very explosive, couple of punches into the middle, setting Crimson up for something, not quite sure what is gonna happen here. Big knife edge chop, Rhino now gonna climb up, himself set up on that middle rope, big superplex. 
Surprised that didn't just basically collapse that ring. Crimson is down. Rhino tries to roll over for the cover. Will he get him? Will he get him? Drapes a hand over. And I thought that was going to be the three, Norm. This is an amazing match. Just an amazing match. It is back and forth. It's really going to come down to who has the most left in the tank, who is able to dig deep and pull out whatever they have in reserve to be able to put away the other guy. Rhino uh -oh. now setting up for the gore. Uh-oh. Is this it? Oh, and he missed. And now a schoolboy off the missed gore, hooks those tights, doesn't put away Rhino. I thought that was it, though. Crimson, again, taking advantage of that opportunity. Rhino has such a strong lower core, it is so hard to finish him off with a schoolboy. And Crimson spending way too much time jawing with the official, trying to convince the official it was a three count, it wasn't. How do you reason with Crimson? Yeah, exactly, and look at that. Just real strong with that back elbow into the side of the head of Crimson. What's Rhino gonna do? A couple of punches now. Whip in, there's a reversal. Rhino stops it. Oh! And he whips Crimson right into the official, and our referee goes down. Now what? Well, the referee is down, but the fight is going to continue. Crimson misses a close. Oh, there it is! And there's that gore. He just folded Crimson in half. Covers him. But we One, have no official. Two, three. But the official is down. He has him for a five count, but no official to count it, so it doesn't count. Oh, and Rhino trying to revive that official. And look at this, Norm. Kiyoshi. That's Kiyoshi in the ring right now. You hit it about that connection between Kiyoshi and Crimson. We're seeing it right now. That absolutely affirms it. There's no question about it now. No doubt now. Rhino spins back oh. around. Super kick. Super kick from Kiyoshi. Is Crimson going to steal one this here? This is a major miscarriage of justice. Crimson hooks the leg, Two, referee is right there. Three. And Crimson, Crimson has just pinned Rhino. Your winner of the fall of the match, Crimson. Crimson with help from Kiyoshi has just pinned Rhino. What has Crimson unleashed? He has a partner in crime? In Kiyoshi of all things? This is a dark, dark day for Powerbomb Championship Wrestling. But look at that, Rhino making his way up to his feet. Rhino uh -oh. in disbelief right now, and he is mad. You can see it in his face. Punching Kiyoshi, punching Crimson. It's back and forth, back and forth. And Crimson, though, two on one. Crimson oh. and Kiyoshi have that advantage, laying those boots two on right one. into Rhino. This is not good. I'm not getting up there to help out. Oh, There's nothing I'm going to do. This is ridiculous. And look, oh, and here comes Phil Atlas. Phil Atlas out of the locker room. Here comes Phil Atlas. Oh, and he's got a score to settle with both of these wrestlers. Absolutely. Oh, and Phil Atlas, he's run Kiyoshi out of town. Crimson gets out of there as I well. I gotta get a word with him. Be careful. Norm Waymer is gonna try and talk with both Phil Atlas and Rhino as Kiyoshi and Crimson make their way back to the locker room which means if they're out of here, it actually is going to be safe for Norm. Let's see what both Phil Atlas and Rhino have to say. It looks like it! Where are you two going? Get out of here right now! Phil Atlas calling out Crimson and Kiyoshi. Crimson! Kyoshi! Not only did you steal a victory from me tonight, but you stole a victory from these people! And I'm not going to let you get away with it! Phil Atlas won't let you get away with this! Commissioner Bailey! Next month, May 22nd, we want Crimson and we want Kyoshi right here in this ring in a tag team match. I just got the nod from the commissioner. 
We will get a tag team match in four weeks here at Headliners.